You know, trying to push start any vehicle with a dead battery is not fun. Matter of fact, it's impossible if you have an automatic transmission. And if it's a diesel, well, it's going to be a very long day. Here you'll get to see how to change the batteries on a Ford F-250 diesel running a kangaroo pack. Now before we get started with all the electronics in today's cars and trucks, check with your dealership or your manufacturer's guide or your friend at the auto parts store to make sure that the battery that you buy fits the needs of your vehicle, from cold cranking apps to reserve capacity. For the job on this Ford, we're going to use two Optima yellow tops. Here's how to make the battery upgrade. Disconnect the battery beginning with the ground or negative connector. The ground side is labeled with a minus symbol and the connectors are usually black. On a dual battery system, you'll need to disconnect the ground of the other battery as well because they are wired together. Disconnect the positive side of the battery by listing the nut on the post clamp. Getting the clamp off the post is not always easy. Be careful not to pry too hard on the battery connector components. You can grab the wires and give it a twist, or use a large standard screwdriver to spread the clamp sides further apart. Guys who do this all the time have specialty tools for this task. Remove the insulating blanket from around the battery. If your vehicle doesn't have one, that's okay. Remove the wedge-shaped clamping block by backing out the bolt until it's loose, and then pull the block up. Slide the battery forward and away from the rear tabs. Lift the battery out. Now, here's where you might want to use a stepladder and or ask for help because these things are kind of heavy, especially at that angle. Optima's yellow top battery comes with adapter plates and snap-on parts for several applications. Now, for this application, we use the wing adapter, which snaps into place on the sides of the battery. Lift the battery into place using the provided carrying strap. Slide the battery toward the firewall to lock under the tabs and replace the clamp block used to retain the OEM battery. Use a socket with an extension to secure the clamping block into place. It's also important to use a battery terminal brush to clean the clamp cables. Attach the positive cable clamp to the terminal post, but be careful not to over tighten the clamp. You don't want to distort the metal. To remove the driver's side battery, snap off the top of the box, which is part of the cold air intake that helps keep the ECU cooler. And here we used a jigsaw to modify the air box to fit over the slightly taller Optima yellow top battery. Now in most automotive applications, you won't have to alter anything. But do make sure that your battery has the positive and negative posts in the same location as the battery you're taking out, so the cables will match up. The finishing touch is to reconnect all the auxiliary wires with an extra knot on the clamp bolts. That's it. Thanks for watching and be safe.